G'day my friends, Marty we're here from Marty's Garden on YouTube, how you going? Look what I've got here, I've got a plant that actually makes me money and has had made, made me money over the years many many times and this is a brand new spathilium but what I want to do is let you know is plants that you can divide that multiply make you money really quickly over time and this is a plant that does that now I speak there's four plants in here probably as I purchased this one the other day is spathilium peace lily beautiful flower and this is my favorite indoor plant now what I like about lots of indoor plants is that they multiply they throw out runners and different things and you can keep repotting them and you keep one mother plant so your mother plant becomes your money maker right so this is my new mother plant since i've moved into this new space here i sold my spathilliums when i moved out of my other place down in camden haven on the mid north coast i'm now in northern new south wales in the byron shire and this guy grows great indoors now i'll probably start a new space outside around the southern side of the house where it doesn't get a lot of light. Maybe I'll build some type of uh, greenhouse, shade house thing there and put plants in that I can multiply and create a little nursery area. Now, with things like Marketplace on Facebook and stuff like that, you can sell these really easily. And you just like, you just gotta keep your mother plant, right? And you can build out on your mother plants and have three or four, so you've got even more stock. And then you can bring them into the house, you can give them away as presents. Uh, they make, yeah, they make pretty good money. Now, lots of plants will do that. So you just need to do your research about which ones multiply and which ones don't and how fast they grow. Because some plants are really slow growing, others are quite quick. Now, the spatphilium, one of the reasons I like this is because it's a really hardy plant and a lot of people like it for indoors because it just grows so easily. And you just need a decent potting mix and then you know you put like a, some type of like liquid fertilizer in there at first to create a lot of green growth and then what you do is you hit it with a liquid fertilizer that produces flowering now you could do this with a hydroponics if you've got some lying around a flowering hydroponics works really really well now look how healthy that flower is man this is just a beautiful, beautiful plant, and I absolutely love it. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be looking at other ways that you can make money from around your place at the same time, introducing it into the self-sufficient system. Because to be self-sufficient, we need to make an income, right? We need all these different ways. And if we've got multiple ways of bringing in income, there's more chance of diversity and less chance of failure, right? So we diversify our income as much as possible and these type of plants are one of, of them. So this is going in, this is a part of the micro farm, the brand new mother plant, the spatphilium. Keep an eye on the channel because we're gonna be more stuff like this as we grow and expand out here in my little micro farm slash self-sufficiency space. And uh, man, there's gonna be so much that you can learn from this place and implement. Bring in the money, bring in the food, save some dollars, and bring more joy and happiness into your life. All right, have a great day. Happy everything, and I'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now. Do you like that? Happy everything? It's cool, eh? Hey, Karen, what are you doing? I'm pulling out the weeds. Oh, yeah? Do you know there are uh, flowers? No. They're irises. People would probably buy those, you know, if you potted them up and sold them, but we don't want them, right? No, we don't want them. Can't eat them. Can we eat them? No, I don't think so. <laughs>